welcome back to my channel. My name is Katie and I am a stay-at-home mom and homeschooling mom of three kids ages seven, five, and two and a half. And this is our second year homeschooling. Um, we actually have not started for the year yet. We're going to plan to start next week, um, but we're super excited. We had a great experience homeschooling last year and decided to continue the journey. So me being like a fairly new homeschool mom, I wanted to share with um, some other moms that might also be new to homeschooling um, what I have found to be like essential and that we've used uh, like on a daily basis um, that I would definitely suggest for you to have for homeschool supplies. You know, we always get these back to school lists um, for kids that go to public school or private school, um, but there's not like an official back to school list for homeschoolers. So I'm hoping that this video will be helpful for you to see um, and kind of create your own back to school homeschool list for essential and most used school supplies. So I'm going to show you guys my absolute favorites and kind of tell you why they're my favorites. And hopefully, like I said, I hope this will be a help to you. All right, let's get started. Okay, I'm going to start with showing you my child supplies. And then after I show you all of those, I'll show you like my parent supplies. Um, and if you're new to my channel, let me just tell you, I am a bargain shopper. I love Walmart. I love Dollar Tree. So all of this stuff is really affordable and um easily to for anybody to get no matter what kind of budget that you're on um i'm gonna start with pencils okay you can use whatever pencils now i've used pencils from like dollar tree and i will say that you can tell a difference in quality in like your cheaper pencils so um this time of year when they have all the back to school sales like at walmart or target you can find the name brand the better quality items for super cheap so i got some ticonderoga pencils at walmart um i got them for free actually using a rebate app that i use called ibotta um and <laughs> this is the only weird thing is that they didn't have they were all sold out of like the traditional yellow Ticonderoga pencils. So I had to get these black ones, which is so weird. Like I've never seen black pencils before um, from Ticonderoga, but you know, I don't care. It's a pencil. It'll be fine. <laughs> so I got those. Um, my oldest will be going into second grade. My youngest will be starting kindergarten. So these are for my oldest to use. Now for my kindergartner, I like these ones. These are also by Ticonderoga. These are called My First Ticonderoga Pencil, and they're fat, so they're really easy to grip when your kindergartner is learning how to hold a pencil and how to write. Um, these ones I actually got last year for my daughter, and so, you know, we didn't even use them very much because she ended up preferring the skinnier pencil, so I still had a ton of these left over that I'm going to let my son try for kindergarten this year, so... You know, you can buy the Dollar Tree pencils and it'll be fine. It's just I have found that the quality is not quite up to par for what I like. And like I said, you can find really good sales on the better quality stuff this time of year, which leads me to my next thing, which is crayons. I have tried every brand crayon that's out there. Um, and I always, always, always come back to good old Crayola <laughs> because the quality is just amazing. Um, they just color so smooth. I feel like they don't break as easily. If you left them somewhere hot in the car, I feel like they don't melt as easily. Um, I've tried the Crazy Art and I think it's the Rose Art brand and pretty much any brand from the Dollar Tree. I have tried them all. Um, I have worked with kids for a very long time and I do a lot of different things like at church with the kids and stuff. So I'm always using different kinds of crayons and Crayola really is the best. And like I said, this time of year when they have the back to school supplies, you can get like the box. I think it's the 24 count at Target or Walmart for like 50 cents. So yes, there is a cheaper brand for 25 cents, but if you pay a quarter more, you get such a better quality. So Crayola crayons are my absolute favorite. Now this one is a huge box of 96 and it has like every color you could ever um, like. 
And I like this one because on the back, it has a, pen, a crayon sharpener. So if this crayon gets a little dull, you know, from your kid's coloring, um, you can sharpen it, which is really nice, especially my daughter, like she's seven, and she's starting to get to the point where she wants it very particular. She likes to stay in the lines. And sometimes if you have like a crayon that's flattened out, it's hard to do that. So it's always nice um, that these on the big boxes of Crayola almost always have a sharpener on the back, which helps um, if you have older kids or kids that are, you know, particular about coloring. The other thing that Crayola also has that this is so cool. I just found these at Walmart the other day and I don't know if these are new this year. Maybe they were around last year. I don't know, but I love this. These are called Colors of the World crayons and they are like all different skin tones. Okay, so you can see on the side, it'll also tell you like the names of all the different skin tones. Aren't those so cool? Because my daughter loves to color. You know, I buy her all these different coloring books like Barbie and stuff like that. And so she always says like, we don't have a skin tone color. Um, like you can see in this set of 94, like there are some that look like skin tones, but I just think this is the coolest thing. Um, I love this. So like I said, I found this at Walmart. I just bought this. Um, so we have not used it yet, but we will definitely get a lot of use out of that this year. One other crayon set I wanted to share with you guys. If you have a little one, like I do, I have a two and a half year old and she wants to color whenever her brother and sister are coloring. Um, but she doesn't do so well with like Crayola crayons or like the traditional skinny crayons because she ends up pressing too hard and snapping them. So I found these on Amazon and these are by Melissa and Doug and they are like fat um, triangle crayons just for toddlers. Um, and they come in this really awesome case that has a plastic cover. So, you know, they don't fall out. She can carry them around. Um, you just open up the cover and here's all the crayons. These are very well loved. She uses them all the time, but they are a triangle shape. Um, and it's really cool. So it helps them with holding it with the grip and they're fat and sturdy. So they don't break as easily. Like she's had these for probably close to a year. She's had these, she uses them all the time. And you can see they're still like in really good condition and none of them have broken. So that is pretty awesome to me. Um, so if you have a toddler, you know, I know that toddlers, aren't doing as much homeschool, but if they want to, you know, be involved and color, these are, I cannot recommend these enough. Like I said, Melissa and Doug makes those and you can find them on Amazon. So those are all the crayons that I have for our school year. The next thing I'm going to show you um, is markers. Now with markers, I am not as picky. So I do have some that are Crayola brand, but I also have like the Target brand. And with markers, I have not noticed like a significant difference in the name brand and the generic brand. Um, so if the generic brand is cheaper, which it pretty much always is, I'm gonna buy the generic brand. Cause unlike the crayons, I just don't tell a difference at all. So with markers, I would definitely say, get whatever's cheapest. Um, you want washable obviously, because these are gonna get all over your kiddos hands. They always do. Um, but yeah, I don't see any type of difference in brand. Um, same with, um, colored pencils. I, these are Crayola just because they were like on sale or whatever, but I haven't really noticed a big difference with, you know, a generic brand. Really, it's just crayons that I noticed the biggest difference with. Now let's talk about glue, glue sticks. If you're going to be doing craft projects, art projects with your kids, you're going to need glue sticks. If you have, you know, elementary age, slightly, you know, older kids, I get whatever. Um, the only reason I bought Elmer's is because it was on sale with the back to school stuff. Also, I really like it because it's purple. When your child puts it on the paper, it shows up as purple so they can kind of see where they've already put glue, but it dries clear. So, you know, if they put glue all over the page, it's not gonna stay purple, it'll dry clear. You won't be able to tell it after it's dry, but it really helps them with um, realizing like where they are putting glue so that they don't use too much. I think it's really helpful tool. So that's why I really like the Elmer's brand that has the purple disappearing um, uh, glue. 
If you have younger kiddos, this brand is also great. I, I, I want to say I found these at Dollar Tree, but I'm not exactly sure. I've had these for a while. This is Crayola, Crayola brand um, glue sticks, but they have this wide base. And so it's really great because, um, you know, these little caps, when they take these off, those roll off the table, they get lost sometimes. If you lose a cap to your glue stick, your glue stick dries up and then, you know, you can't use it anymore. So these ones, they have this nice base. So when you take this off, you know, you can set it on the table. It's not rolling off the table. It's not going anywhere. It stays right there. It also stays with the opening. And then when they go to put it back on there, they can easily just press down and close it. So these are really nice, um, especially for younger kiddos that are, you know, just getting started learning how to use glue because of this wide base. So those are kind of my two favorite glue um, brands, I guess you could say. The next thing I want to show you guys is construction paper. If you're going to homeschool, you got to have a big variety of construction paper. At least if you're like me. I like to do a lot of crafts with my kids. I find a lot of stuff on Pinterest. And, you know, if your kids were going to like a traditional school, they would probably be making crafts that would go with, you know, whatever holidays are coming up or seasons. If you're homeschooled, you kind of have to take charge of that and, you know, do it with your kiddos. So I love to get a big variety of uh, construction paper. If you can see that, this has like every color. If for some reason, it's only wanting to show the reds, but I promise you, it's not just red. Um, I found these at Walmart, I think last year, like right after um, school supplies kind of go on clearance, like at the end of September, beginning of October, they had these packs, 120 sheets for a dollar. That was such a good deal. So I stocked up and got like 10 of these. So I don't think I'll ever run out. But um, <laughs> you can wait and look after your sales or just grab, you know, these are cheap anyways. I think they're like two, $2 or something like that at Walmart. But yes, make sure you have construction paper if you plan on doing a lot of crafts. The next thing I would recommend you getting for your kiddos um, is a notebook. Um, we do a lot of stuff in notebooks, like online to papers. We write out our spelling list. They, they have to do that every day to practice. Um, we also work out math problems on our notebooks. We work on writing, um, practicing their name, lots of different things on notebooks. So with notebooks, you know, they make them plain like this, plain and boring, and that's fine. But they also have fun ones that have like characters on it. And, you know, for me, with my kids, like, I want to make them so excited about school and I will do anything it takes to, you know, add a little bit more fun, add a little bit more excitement into school. So I picked up, like, their favorite characters for their notebooks so they each have their own. So for my son, I got this one that's Mario because um, he really loves Mario. And then for my daughter, I got Frozen. And so, you know, they're just plain notebooks, but it just adds a little bit of fun. So that's something that you can do. Obviously, if you want to get the cheap um, colored ones, we have those too, but it's just something kind of fun. Now, this is something that I found at Dollar Tree last year that was super helpful for reading. And um, I'm sure they'll have them again this year. If you guys have not been to Dollar Tree, if you're a homeschooling mom, get to Dollar Tree. They have a whole aisle that's like all classroom and school stuff and is so helpful also for homeschooling. So these are called reading highlighters. So they are kind of like cardboard like this, but they have a see-through, can you see? <laughs> a see-through kind of like vinyl um, strip through them. Now when you're reading, you put the line that you're reading, you would line this up so that you're looking at the line that you're reading right through here. And it just helps kids with being able to keep track of where they are. Sometimes when kids are just learning to read and they have a book, they lose their place, you know, whatever. This really helps them stay focused and stay um, on the line that they're reading and not lose their place or lose track of where they were. Um, and these came like, there was a assorted package. So it had frogs. Uh, this this side had fish on it. This side had um, like planets. And then the other one that was on this side was like a girly one. That's the one that we ended up using last year for my daughter. And it's somewhere over there in our bucket of homeschooling stuff. But this was a big pack. This was 10 of these for a dollar. So I really loved those um, to help with reading. I would definitely recommend seeing if you can find those at Dollar Tree. 
Okay, so those are pretty much my child essentials for homeschooling. Now we're gonna talk about the parent-teacher essentials for homeschooling. These are things that, th that I, as the parent and as the teacher, find essential, and we use these all the time. First thing is a dry erase board, a mini dry erase board, okay? I don't have room in my house for like a big office dry erase board. I don't have a wall that's empty that big. I also don't want that on my wall all the time. Just, I just don't. So the little mini ones are really perfect for us. Um, you can get them at Dollar Tree. You can get them at Target. This one I just found the other day in the Target dollar section. They also have a lot of school and classroom supplies in the Target dollar section right now. So definitely go check that out. But um, this one's really cute. It has like a rainbow border. And this was a dollar. So on the back, I really loved that it has lines on the back to practice um, handwriting. But then on the front, it's just blank. So you could do math problems or whatever. So that, we're going to use that all the time. Now we have these ones from last year that are well loved. Um, and they're the same. They're blank on the front and they have the lines on the back. And I, the other reason that I love the miniature ones instead of like a big one that you put on the wall is because if you are working out math problems or spelling, whatever, you can put this right on the table in front of you and write on it like you would a piece of paper. If you have a big whiteboard on the wall, you're writing, you know, standing up. And so it's not, that's not how you would normally write like on a piece of paper. So I just love that using these also reinforces writing the correct way that they're trying to learn. Um, so, you know, you could have both if you want to have a big one on the wall and also these miniature ones to use at the table, you do you. <laughs> um, for the markers for those, I really like the smaller ones that have the fine tip because these are miniature. The big um, dry erase markers are just too big. They take up too much space writing on these little boards. So I like these little ones. They have a very fine tip and then also the cap has like a built-in little eraser, which is really nice. But I also did go ahead and purchase like the regular size eraser just so that, you know, we're not sitting there forever. If we, if we write over the whole board, I don't want to sit there forever using this little eraser trying to get it off. So I also have um, the big eraser. So those, like I said, we use our little whiteboards almost every single day. It's you know, when I don't want to waste a piece of paper on whatever, so nice to be able to use that, wipe it clean, reuse it again on something else. The next thing I want to show you is for math. You want to have some kind of manipulative that your kids, when they're learning to count and learning to add and learning to subtract, it really helps to have a visual aid. Um, and there's so many different kinds out there. You can, you know, like the little counting bears or whatever. This is the ones that I found on Amazon and I love these. We use these all the time for math. These are math cubes and they are just these little colored cubes like this. They snap very easily and unsnap. And um, the bag even says you can use these for patterning. That's why they're all different colors. So you can talk about patterns, geometry, measurement, problem solving, and reasoning. There's a hundred cubes in 10 different colors. Um, and like I said, we use these all the time. They're so nice to be able to, you know, when you're learning to add. So you have three and then you have two. So now you can, your child can actually physically count them in front of them and see what three plus two equals together. So I just, I definitely, you know, it doesn't really matter which one you get. If you want to get the little bears, you can look on Amazon um, for math counters or math manipulatives. And they have so many different options that you can get. I just really like these. I liked the fact that they snap together um, for counting, for patterns, all that different kind of stuff. Um, and it also came in this great Ziploc bag so you can seal it up and keep them all together. So that um, I think is a must have for a homeschool mom. Okay, the next thing you homeschool mamas have to have for your homeschool class is an electric pencil sharpener. So you can get battery powered ones or plug-in ones. I like plug-in, my plug-in one, just so I don't have to worry about a battery. And it holds a lot of stuff. As you can see, I need to empty it because it's got little shavings in it. But it, this is great. It's so fast to sharpen pencils, which you're gonna be doing a lot. Um, it holds a lot. It also, this one has um, 
a little cover that you can cover the hole just so that, you know, your kids aren't jamming stuff in there that's not supposed to be in there. Um, so I really love this one. This brand is the, I just got this off Amazon, Jarlink. But, you know, if you just type in or search for electric pencil sharpener on Amazon, you will find so many options. But I think this is a must have. So that is definitely a lifesaver. You don't want to have to be sitting there with like a little handheld pencil sharpener, you know, 10 times a day. The other thing I want to show you guys, I found these at Target the other day in the Target dollar section. Like I said earlier, they have so much back to school stuff and classroom supplies. So these are book baskets. They look like this. They had all different colors. They had pink, blue, red, green. And so I got a pink one for my daughter and a blue one for my son. And I'm going to keep their notebook in here, the Elsa one, and then their workbooks that came with our curriculum. And then I have another basket that I keep like my teacher guidebooks in, but just so that everybody's books stay organized, their workbooks, their daily workbooks are gonna go in here. Now, the thing that I love about these from Target is that they snap together. So when I put them on my shelf, um let me see if i can show you so this side has like a lip and this side doesn't so you snap them together and then let me see if i can show you one-handed um they stay together so i just think that that is so nice that they just for organized and that they stay together and then if i'm one-handed and i need to grab this because you guys we don't have a homeschool room we do school at our kitchen table we do school at the couch wherever we don't have a homeschool room um so if i need to quickly grab their stuff and i have one hand because i'm carrying something else or whatever i can actually just grab it like this and they stay together which is so nice so yeah definitely recommend finding those from target while they still have them okay this is the very last thing you guys if you are a homeschool mom or even if you're not a homeschool mom i would still recommend getting one of these because it's so fun it's hilarious the things that like as i get older i think are like cool or fun <laughs> and this is one of those things okay this is my laminator and this is, i think this is the coolest thing ever and this is fun you guys i'm 30 years old <laughs> so i have had this laminator for probably 10 years or so. So I actually went to school, I went to college um, for my education degree. Um, so I have a bachelor's degree in early childhood education. And uh, now I'm homeschooling my kids, so I'm using that degree. <laughs> but I actually bought this laminator back then when I was student teaching. Um, and it has still been working great ever since then, okay? This thing, I mean, and of course I don't use it like, a whole lot like I don't use it daily or anything and it's just me using it so it has held up really good so this is the scotch brand I would definitely recommend it very durable like I said long lasting um but this thing is great I love to laminate um with their curriculum we get like certain charts um flash cards like small posters that are like eight by ten size some stuff like that that we're gonna use a lot and I don't want it to get like all wrinkled up and destroyed I will laminate. Um, I also use this a lot for like church stuff that I laminate um, or even like if they do certain art projects or something and I want to preserve it and keep it if it's relatively flat, <laughs> I can laminate it. So with these, it's so easy. You also are going to buy these laminate um, thermal pouches off Amazon. And so these are the eight by 10 size or eight, eight by five, eight I can't talk 8.5 by 11 pouches um so it has a little bit of outside um ring you are just going to open it up it's like sealed on one side open on the other side you open it up you put whatever it is inside there close it and then put it through and it seals it so this is so easy to use like really and this had 50 pouches in here and i've been using this um package for a long time and i haven't used them all yet so like I said, I don't use this like on a super regular basis, but it is so nice to have. And when I do use it, I'm obsessed. I love it. It's really helpful. I think as a homeschooling mom, or like I said, just a mom in general, if you are like 
super organized and want to have like chore charts or potty charts or any kind of chart like that you want to hang up on the wall that you don't want to get destroyed. This is just so nice. Um, also, if you want to do certain things like um, if you want to laminate a, like uh, some type of paper that you want them to be able to write on and you laminate it, then you can use your dry erase markers on the sheet that's laminated and it'll wipe clean. So that's always a fun option too, to be able to have for something that you don't wanna to have to make like copies of over and over again that you know you're gonna use on a regular basis. So that's my last thing that I wanted to show you guys. That's kind of like my general list of like things that I think are essential or most used or most needed for homeschooling. <laughs> So hopefully this was helpful to you guys. Um, let me know in the comments if I left out anything that you guys think are essentials. I would love to hear it. Um, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, I would love for you to hit the like button, the thumbs up, that really helps my channel. Also, if you're new here, I would love for you to subscribe. I love making new friends here on YouTube. And especially if you are a fellow homeschool mama, I would love for us to be able to connect. So definitely let me know in the comments if you are a new subscriber so I can welcome you. Thanks guys for watching this. I hope you guys all have a great week and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys. Don't wanna be shy.